This is Lester Smith reporting. Next news as it happens. Next scheduled news at 11 o'clock over WOR, Radio 710, the talk of New York. Hi, boys and girls. It's me. And I'm in the lair, and it's a couple days yet before Christmas. And I figured, you know what? I haven't done a tricky troubleshooting tip in a long time. So I figure I'll, I'll get this in before the holidays uh, come around. And uh, this is something that's a little bit weird and a little bit odd, but I've had this come up. It's even come up on our, uh, in our discussion group with the, the Antique Radio Club. And, and here, let me see if I, I have them here. Remember the old mica mold caps? You find these, you know, similar to this, you find these in old radios. They have different colors on there that note the different values. Can the micro mold caps actually go bad? This is what we're going to find out right now. Yes, these micro mold caps have gotten the millions and millions of radios. And uh, as you can see from here, let me get my pointer. I wanted to grab it, but let me get my pointer. You can see here the word micro mold. That's the name of the company. And what this is, it's just basically a capacitor that's been injection molded with Bakelite surrounding the capacitor. Okay, and the colors actually also emulate the same values of the resistor color code. Now this one here just happens to be a 0 0.05 microfarad capacitor. Now can these go bad? Well I've never seen one actually physically go bad. I did change a micro mold cap a long time ago. It was probably like 10 years ago, and I tried to tell this story to people on a radio that, for some reason, it had a micro mold cap, something in to do with the os oscillator section of uh, a shortwave radio, and it did affect basically how, it didn't affect the, the playing of the radio, but it did affect how the radio uh, was trying to get it to scale on the dial. So I replaced that. This micro mold cap came out of, and you'll see up on the screen here is a picture of a, this isn't the exact radio, but it's a similar radio. It's a silver tone radio. And a fellow brought, he brings me radios every two or three months and asks me to go through them. And we did this uh, yesterday. And you can see going back to this cap now, you see this nice pretty cap. Well. It had actually two of these. Here's the other one. And this one was definitely no... Oh, I'm upside down. No, I was the right way. And this one was definitely no good. And you want to know why? This is it right here. thing literally just fell apart. And this is the capacitor right here. And it was just inside of this uh, Bakelite molding. See? So even Berwin's going to inspect it. We think, oh no, Berwin, you don't want to eat that. No, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's got nasty chemicals in it. Okay, boys and girls. So there you go. It just goes to show you they can go bad. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of weird, but... Uh, uh, they can happen, and uh, I just showed you proof. So anyway, listen, thank you again for uh, stopping by. Everybody have a great uh, holiday season, and we'll see you right after the New Year. So, hey, listen, everybody, take care, and, and let's hope that uh, uh, 2021 is going to be a better year. It's got to be because it couldn't have been any worse than 2020. Take care. Bye. <laughs>